If you've never programmed before, the Arduino IDE is a great place to start. It's easy to install, it's easy to use, and it's a great place to start learning how to program microcontrollers. But it doesn't have a lot of the advanced features that can really help speed up your programming workflow. And it only works for Arduino boards and some ESP32s. There are a ton of microcontrollers that it simply doesn't work for. So if you're a bit more experienced and you're looking to level up your programming workflow, I've got something better for you. Platform.io is an extension that you can get that will allow you to program Arduino boards and other microcontrollers using Visual Studio Code, one of the most popular code editors in existence. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up and use it. The first thing you want to do is install Visual Studio Code, which you can get at code.visualstudio.com. And once you've installed it, it should look something like this. Now, the left sidebar is one of the most important parts of Visual Studio Code. And you can see here we have this little option with the squares, which is the extensions tab. Now, under this extensions tab, we can search for platform.io. Now, all of these are extensions that we could add that would allow us to connect to different services or code in different languages. But what we want is this top one here, the Platform.io IDE. And installing it is as simple as clicking this install button and letting it install. Now, the first thing you'll hopefully notice is that at the bottom of this extensions tab, there's a new icon, and that icon is for Platform.io. So if we click on that, then it'll initialize it and you can see we now have this new dialog where we can create a new platformio project once we click create a new project we can close that tab there and now we kind of have another code editor inside of our code editor but we'll still be able to use all of visual studio codes features which is of course the point of doing this the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click plus new project i'm going to name mine uh, tutorial project and then we can go ahead and select what board we want to be using. So if I select the Arduino Uno, you can see it will program that using the Arduino framework. But the cool part is if I were to select uh, an ESP32, then we could use either Arduino's framework or the ESP IDF, which is the framework that was designed for ESP32 boards. I don't like it as much as the Arduino framework, but the important point here is that we have different frameworks, which means that we can hit a whole variety of different boards that you could never hit in the Arduino IDE because that only allows the Arduino framework. I'm going to go ahead and select the Arduino Uno, which of course will program using the Arduino framework, and we can go ahead and use the default location. So let's create our project. Now this might take a couple of minutes, especially the first time you use the Platformio IDE. Once it's installed, you should see something like this. Now on the left here, you can see we have all of the files and folders that make up our new project. So these top two here are for configuring some Platformio stuff and then configuring some VS Code stuff. Then we have this include folder, which is where we could put uh, modules if we were going to create some of those. We have the lib folder, which is where we could use some libraries that other people have written. And then we have our source folder, where you can see this main.cpp file. Now, if you've ever programmed using the Arduino IDE, this probably looks pretty familiar. You can see we have our familiar setup function, which runs once when the Arduino boots up. We have our loop function, which runs over and over again. And you can see they've also given us an example of declaring a function and then implementing that function. Now I'm going to delete this extra function that they've given us and then let's go ahead and just write a simple program where we initialize the serial monitor serial.begin115200 uh, and then let's go ahead and do serial.println hello. So how do we actually upload our program? Well, if you look down here, you can see a couple of buttons which might look familiar. We have the build button and we have the upload button. So the build button is the same as the Arduino IDE's verify button. You can see it's taking a look at all of the libraries that we included with this include Arduino.h. That's not something you have to do in the Arduino IDE because it just puts that line there itself because it only ever uses the Arduino framework. But since Platformio can use different frameworks, you could switch this to the ESP IDF or a different framework, and that's why you have to manually include it when you're working with Arduino. Now, we've built our project successfully, so now we know that it's gonna work. We can go ahead and click the Upload button. And as you can see, it'll go through the upload process. It'll automatically detect where the board is. It'll go ahead and upload our file, and everything should be good to go. So there you go, it took 7.82 seconds. But we now have our program running on our Arduino. So how do we find out if it worked? Well, 
well, we can click on this serial monitor port right here. We can set the baud rate right here, which this is 115200 exactly as we set up here. So that's good to go. We can select the port. This is uh, this USB serial one right here. Now, if we click this blue play button, you can see we'll start talking to the Arduino and you can see it's just spamming out hello over and over again because that's exactly what we told it to do. Now, just to kind of show you guys why this is more powerful than the Arduino IDE, let me point out a couple of additional features. For one, we have this plus open additional monitor button right here on our serial monitor. And this would allow us to connect to multiple ports and then hear information from both of them at the same time. So if you're trying to have two Arduinos wirelessly communicate and you wanted to see what both of them are logging, that could be a really helpful feature. Additionally, we've got syntax completion, which I know the Arduino IDE has been adding for Arduino built-in functions, but it still doesn't really seem to autocomplete for additional libraries. So if we actually include an additional library here, for example, eeprom.h, that might might be a built-in that the Arduino IDE does, but this will work with any library that you import here into Platformio, then we should be able to get auto-completion. So if I type in EEPROM, we can see here are all of the things I can do. And if we select one of those functions, you can see exactly what values it's expecting. So hopefully you find this tool helpful. And if you want some ideas for what to make with it, check out this video right here. I think we've got some good ones in there.